Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Wayne DeGroot from dqdd.ca. Today's lesson is a continuation, part three of Introduction to Soft Plan Adding Cabinets. Where we left off in part two, you can check out here if you have not seen part two, click on this button over here. Um, what I'll do is I'll zoom out a little bit. In part two, we actually did the upper cabinets for this side, and we started doing this side, and we kind of left off over the refrigerator. So let's continue with that. All right, most refrigerators actually have a cabinet over it. Now, I'm not sure exactly what um, which refrigerator this is, so I'm going to click on Edit and Edit the... Uh, refrigerator. It says Refrigerator 5. Mm, that's probably the new one, which is, yes, 7 feet tall. If we actually went with the regular refrigerator, um, if you're not really sure exactly what refrigerator we're talking about, I would actually view it and make sure. Let's take a look. So go on to search. Should take a little bit here. Uh, Alright, so I, I can see it's the newer refrigerator with the um, the motor on top, so obviously that's why it's uh, uh, seven feet. I don't want that one right now. I think I'll just stick with the regular uh, refrigerator number two, which looks just like this: the freezer on top, refrigerator on the bottom. And let's go with that. So that tells me it's about five foot four and a bit. So I'm going to try to make my uh, ref my cabinet start around five foot six. So 66 inches off the ground. All right, so let's do that now. We have the refrigerator in. It looks like I have to manipulate a few things because my refrigerator, for some reason, is a little bit wider. I'll change that width and that width. And, of course, looks like our door has to move down a little tiny bit. So there we go. And just want to check the width of the refrigerator, seeing it's here. I'm assuming it's going to be 33 inches way off. Uh, it is going to be not too far off, actually. It's uh, 24 plus 8 is 32. So it looks like we're going to be doing a 33-inch cabinetry over the refrigerator. Makes sense to me. So again, the refrigerator is 32 inches wide. And just like I said before, upper cabinets, or sorry, all cabinets are usually done on by three inch increments. So there's our 33. So we have our 33 width. Our depth is no longer going to be 12 inches. Um, I, I wouldn't know anyone that would do that anymore just because no one could reach those things. And you don't want to have a, a shelf over the, um, over the refrigerator. So I'm going to change that to 24 inches for the depth. The height is obviously going to be a lot significantly less. I'm not really sure exactly what it should look like, but hey, let's try the 15 inch for now. The offset is what we discussed before, which was going to be the 66 inches. Where did I get that number? That was actually the height of the refrigerator, minus the little air space in between, so it let out some of the heat back there. So uh, we actually gave ourselves about almost about an inch and a half above the refrigerator. And um, last thing is the top height. Now, here is where I could possibly get the exact same height as the other ones, which I remember as being 84 inches. And uh, it's going to be a two door for sure, and I think we're good to go. So, click on there, click out. As you can see, the refrigerator is perfect underneath there, and now our tall, we are not going to touch solely because the tall cabinet is uh, is just as high, I do believe. Let's, let's just verify that, though. I'm going to edit our tall cabinet. And I want our tall cabinet to be the same height as the other cabinets, so I'm going to make this 84 inches when it comes through. Top height is going to be 84 inches. Oh, it's actually forcing the uh, forcing the height. I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, my set top height is going to be 84 inches. What that's going to do is going to raise it up, but still keep the maintain the actual height. So I think this should be 84. The height of the actual cabinet should be 84. And of course, the top height 
should be 84, which means the offset will be 0. So I, I want my, my tall to be right from floor to the top of the cabinetry. Excellent. All right. And I do believe that concludes part 3. Hey, I forgot one more thing. I am going to go inside of the uh, symbols and inside of the kitchen. And there should be a range hood right there. I'm not sure exactly what that is, so I'm going to click on the word search here. And what that will do is it'll take a second or two to kick up what the 3D looks like. Let's see if I can move that over so everyone can see the whole menu. So uh, that's, of course, if there is no cabinet above the. Uh, so that is obviously no good. So let's try doing. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So it'll be the range hood over the over the cabinetry. Of course, this is a standard uh, venting over the range itself. So now I'm going to throw this on. I'm just going to throw it over here actually for now. The reason why is because I've actually forgotten what the height of the upper cabinet was. If I knew the height, then I'll probably know right away. I've since I have forgotten and I want to click on edit item and I'm going to click on the uppers if it does not find the upper cabinet what I will have to do and it doesn't it actually is finding the range instead cancel that and I'm going to hit control L we've talked about this a few times control L locate something very specific so I want to say I want to locate the upper cabinet like so and when it comes up it's going to uh, I'm going to see what the height of the bottom of the upper cabinet is and there I see that the height starts at 66 inches good to know now I'm gonna click on our range which is way off to the side and when that comes up, it's going to show me what my offset is. Right now it says it's 5 feet off the ground. Now the height of the actual item is 5 inches. So that tells me that we have uh, one spare inch in there. So a lot of people always ask me, how come it always grayed out? I can't touch the grayed out. The reason why is because there's something going on inside of this menu that's stopping you from graying it out, from changing it because I can try highlighting it I can't change anything until I type in or click on the cleanup I can then type in what I'm looking for so again it was 66 inches and if I put in my 61 inches there's my 51 51 plus the 5 height that's where the cabinet starts above it so I think we're okay hit OK and then I'm going to move that in place for those who are don't like guessing I usually snap onto certain things like this so I'm going to try snapping nope didn't want to do it so I'll snap into that area there and turn off the snap so it doesn't get me give me a problem okay that was a little bonus extra so uh, I have my wall there, I have I saw my tall, I have my corner cabinets. Alright, I think we're good to go. We can actually view this inside of 3D. Click on here to uh, view the 3D or how to do the 3D of this specific kitchen. And um yes, that's <laughs> it. Thank you so much for watching Soft Plan TV. If you have any questions, requests, or how to do anything inside of Soft Plan, please email me at softplantv at ddd.ca.